All right, so let me, um, while they still fresh in my mind, let me express my thoughts on the celestial event that I just witnessed. Solar eclipse um, here in Carbondale, Illinois, aka Little Egypt. Longest totality in the entire eclipsing world. First, um, I must say that I was I was I was I was humbled. Um, that eclipse raised more questions for me than it did entertain me because how the hell did he get over there? That's a shortcut. So y'all got to understand what we're dealing with right now. There's traffic. We're back here in the rural parts of Illinois and these are small towns with a population probably of only about maybe, you know, few thousand folks and now all of a sudden you got 500,000 people descend on your town at one time to see this thing but you know your infrastructure can't support it so it's wall to wall so I got time to, 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 to clear my head and clear my heart um, let me let me say this this was a very surprisingly to me was very emotional um, in this sense the there was a as the as the as the shadow approached, you felt a wave of energy, and I'm not the only one that said that. There were a lot of people who felt it. You know, I was actually live streaming. If you look at my live stream, you'll see that I was actually physically overcome um, because I felt like you know when you stand up too quick. But I was moving around. I was just standing there, and. Um, when the when when the totality arrived and the 360 degree sunset happened that had to be one of the most awe-inspiring things i've ever seen as a human being and that's the truth the sense of power and and, 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 and sheer sense of above our understanding organization of how the laws of the universe work and most importantly, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what we were look what we were looking at. And what I mean by that is this: something, yes, did move in front of the sun, and it was it was it was able to block out the sun in such a way that it turned the day into night. Okay, gotcha. Here comes el problema. The problem was. It reflected no light at all. Even the moon when it's full and it's lighting up the sky, you can still see a piece of the dark side. This thing drank in light and it, 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 it I'm not going to say it made a noise, but it, it was a lot. It felt alive. That's what I'm getting at. Whatever it was, I mean, you felt a presence, you know, um, me personally, as you can see, I went completely in the in the in the old religion type deal. Uh, you know, I came with all my Egyptian symbology, and just in case it was raw showing back up, be like, "Yo, people ain't forgot about you, man. Don't come down here with no attitude." It was it was it was a very unique experience, and I know there's another one in seven years. Lord willing, I'm here. I'll be back here because it's, it's going to cross through Carbondale again, which is interesting because eclipses don't normally cross in the same spot. But if you believe in the whole piece about Babylon and you know the prophecies and all of that stuff, we already know how this ends. My thoughts on the eclipse, 2016, August 21st, incidentally, 821, 2017, but 20 plus 17 is 66. 66 books in the Bible. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Weird time to be alive, man. One.